So on January 1st, 2021, I decided to challenge myself and do something I'd never done before. I decided to do my very first bodybuilding show. Over the course of three months, I watched my body transform and push myself to limits that I didn't think were possible. And then the big day finally came. Being on stage was a breath of fresh air. I loved every minute of it. I had never felt anything as exciting and rushing as the feeling I felt on stage. All the cardio, all the dieting, the dedication and discipline was worth it and made me push past hurdles and boundaries that I had never knew I was capable of. So much so that I entered a second show the following week. As I wrapped up the second show, I thought that my season was coming to an end. That is until my coach proposed an idea to me. Hey, let's do the Amateur Olympia. Wait, what? You mean one of the biggest international pro qualifiers for my third show? So I messaged back what any sane person would say. Let's do it. And now here we are. So there we were, off to Florida, on a last minute trip to compete at the biggest show I had done yet. Oh yeah, I was a little nervous. Hey guys, we're finally at the hotel, we're in Orlando, and this is where my show is going to be. We're about like four minutes from the convention center, which is nice, so we can just walk there. But guys, let me tell you how today went. It's been such a long day and part of it is my fault, but then at the same time, nobody really thinks about this. So I had lost my purse a few weeks ago. I think the week, the same week that I booked my ticket, but I didn't realize that my last name on my passport didn't match what my ID said. So since I lost my ID, when we went to, I only had my passport as like for my ID. And so when I went to the, when I went to check in, they were like, this last name does not match your uh, the boarding pass because my boarding pass says my current last name not my maiden name <laughs> it's just confusing if the last names don't match obviously they're not going to let you on and I don't I think it's because I did a little prayer you know Jesus was listening to me because I don't know how they let me on they put me as additional which means that I think that means like they have to check me and like they had to open my bag take everything out and like it took forever for us to get through but we made it I can't complain the flight was delayed also by like almost an hour and then it took forever to check into our hotel and now we're finally here I'm tired it's like it's almost midnight now um, I usually go to, I've been usually trying to go to bed at all, around like 11 p.m. But that's not gonna happen today. But right now Ryan is about to do my tan um, We usually we do our first coat of tan two nights before and right now is two days before the show This is when I do the first coat of tan and then tomorrow morning I'll wake up and I will Rinse it off and then I'll put another coat on the night the night before the show But I'm only doing one coat because I'm already pretty dark and then the night, the, the morning of the show, I'll put on the top coat and then I won't rinse it off. I can't shower. I can't do anything until after the show. But yeah, that's basically it. And Ryan's gonna do my, Ryan's been doing my tan because I can't do it myself. And he's been doing a really good job. So we're about to get started and we'll show you guys kind of how we do it. Take my For show, um, I have to get up. I got some pretty good sleep last night. I was worried that I wouldn't be able to fall asleep because I was thinking too much. 
and I went to bed pretty late, but I got a good like eight hours of sleep. But it's time to get up and check in with my coach and shower or not, well, just rinse off the, uh, this tan and then I will show you guys how I'm looking at my check in first. And then I'm use a tripod at home but we forgot the little piece what the vaseline okay <laughs> and from the pictures that i sent her she'll decide whether she needs to drop my food keep my food the same give me less water or whatever she needs to do to get this body right for tomorrow the more i think about it After checking in with my coach, she let me know that we were keeping everything the same. So I packed my meals for the rest of the day. We still had a few errands to run, so we decided to get a jump start on the day. First stop was the nail salon. And man, was I in for a surprise. <laughs> so the camera died but as i was getting my nails done one of my best friends walked in i was in shock and so surprised and excited to see her i was not expecting anybody to come to the show other than my husband since it was so far and now with my best friend and husband by my side it was time to go check in for the amateur Olympia. But I forgot one important thing. So I didn't know that you needed your bikini to check in because my last two shows, I didn't need my bikini because you just go in and get your height checked and that's it. So I don't know why I didn't need my bikini on. I don't know if they're going to have us take off our clothes and make sure it's the right bikini or what. But So we Ubered here, so now we have to go back to the hotel, get my bikini, put it on, and come back. It wouldn't do much, but it's okay. Luckily, we got here early. We still have like four hours until they're done with check-in, so we have plenty of time. Our hotel's not that far, so round two. <laughs> So that's what we did. We Ubered back to the hotel so I could grab my bikini and also so I could print off my registration for the show just in case they needed it. And we were off back to the venue for a second time. That was quick. Rising shine. I know, baby. Come on. Dark chocolate. Just how I like them. I just putting on the top coat of my tan. 
super dark right now. Now I'm about to go to the hotel, which is like four minutes away. The host hotel it is, that's where the makeup ladies are. So I'm gonna go get it done. My appointment's at 4 a.m. It's about three something. So I'll probably wait just a little bit longer to go. Um, but I don't mind being there a little bit early just so I'm not late. And that hotel is really, really big. So I don't wanna risk being late. So we're gonna leave a little bit early and we have to call an Uber too. So. Yeah, we're gonna head there for my 4 a.m. appointment and then I will show you guys what my makeup looks like after I'm done. Ooh. Makeup is done. Yeah, it's bright that way, hold up. Wow. It's all done. This is probably the first time I actually like my makeup because this lady knew how to blend and so I don't look crazy. But yeah, it's all done. Now I get to rest for a little while and Eat a meal, eat a really small meal, check in with my coach and see what uh, what she says I can eat and then we'll go on from there. I need to be at the venue about like 9 o'clock I think to be safe. Um, cause the bikini girls don't go on until like 10.30 but you know you gotta be there a little bit early. I don't have any of my jewelry or my suit on yet because I'm trying to be comfortable right now. It's cold in here. But I'll probably put it on in the next hour or so and then we're gonna head out. It's funny how I went from only wanting to do one show at the beginning of the year to getting ready to step on stage for the third straight time. The hard work was already done and now it was time to just step on stage and show it off. I only had one last request before the big moment. Lord, please don't let me trip in these heels while I'm on stage. Amen. Let your love up by his door Pick them up, then let them go Going through the motions like it's my job Eeny, meeny, miny, mo Who's the baddest of them all? Can't hold on to what's not yours That's for sure Oh, is that the My Cookie Dealer? Uh-huh. Yeah, those are good ones. Let me see. I got the chocolate one. There was a bunch of different flavors, but there's so many girls over there. I just grabbed one and left. Yeah. Can I take a bite of it? What? Can I take a bite of it? No way. Okay, I'll wait. I have to hear back to my coach. Are you ready to go get some food? Yes, I'm actually excited to eat now. I want to go back to the hotel. I was sad to see this journey finally come to an end. Even though the outcome of the show didn't turn out how I anticipated, I was happy that I was able to push through my prep and stand next to 15 incredible women on stage. I was happy that my friends and family got to experience my shows with me. I can't wait to do it all over again. But for now, it's time to eat and grow. Because next time I step on that stage, I will be back. Better than ever. Okay. Look, they, they can never keep me down, I'm going And if I ever fail, just know I'll go again I never quit, cause I know that every loss May lead to another win, I'm going up I, I bet when I land, they gon' tell me it's luck again See that I'm winning, it's harder to watch I'm setting the stage, you should give me my prize You ain't got a soul, you lacking the spirit You talk out your neck, I'ma show you I'm with it I don't really hate for you to sit and watch me win again And win again and win again I know it's probably getting on me and when I'm sending them So if I ever win again, it's nobody the minimum I didn't have to sell my soul 